jump on here and do a video on a piece of equipment that I use on a daily basis. And you know, I actually did my hair today, so feeling good. Um, but this piece of equipment I use every day, um, and so many people ask me questions about it all the time. Um, but it is, and loads of people ask me, is it worth it, is it not? So the piece of equipment I am talking about is the Dyson Hedra. Um, so I bought this, I got this about six months ago. Um, and lots and lots of people um, are always curious as to, is it worth the money? Is it is it as good as they say? Um, I personally cannot believe that I was functioning as a hairdresser without it. Um, it's quite an impressive piece of equipment. It dries the hair insanely quickly. Um, it's very quiet. A lot of people say it sounds like a Hoover. I guess it's Dyson. They've got to make it sound like a Hoover somehow. Um, but they, um, yeah, so loads of people ask me questions about it all the time. Like, is it, do you think it's really, do you think it's good enough or not? And I think it is brilliant. It is a very brilliant piece of equipment. Um, it comes, so this is the, this is the black model. It comes with a, um, so you have one nozzle. If I can get it off. Uh, one nozzle that's this size. This is the larger nozzle. And then you get a smaller one. And then you can also get a diffuser head, which is the thing where you make curls out, make your hair naturally curly. Um, and then you get a little loopy thing so you can hang it off at like a hook or anything like that to keep it safe. And then you also get a mat. Don't actually know where my mat is. Um, like a mat that you pop, pop on the side and that like grips it onto the side so it doesn't get pulled off by the cable or anything like that. Um, you also get an extra long hairdressing cable. Um, so you can get around chairs, customers and things like that perfectly fine. You don't have to like drape over your customers and stuff like that all the time. Um, so... The main question that people ask me about this, um, about this hairdryer is, is it worth the money? Um, so I will always, always say for a hairdresser, very much so. It is a very, very brilliant hairdryer. Um, I spent a range from £30 to £140 on a hairdryer and they've all been, they've been good. They've lasted me a while, but they, they don't quite aren't quite resilient enough, quite durable enough for everyday use, like they do in, the ha in a hairdresser. I use it every 20 minutes. Like, they're, they are one of our main pieces of equipment that get used a lot. And we, they, we don't just use them for drying hair, we use them to get the hair off customers, we use it to clean the side, we use it to sweep up the hair on the floor. It's not just one thing, it's not just drying hair. Um. So, but for personal use i personally think it's a lot of money um there are hair dryers out there that you can pay say i would say you can average about 70 pound on a normal hair dryer um i wouldn't say go any cheaper than that because they don't tend to last very long the element tends to blow and stuff like that they just don't they're not durable um and i've had those hair dryers have lasted me two three years and that's a long time for a hairdresser so for a normal person um just using it like what daily to blow dry their hair that is a perfectly fine hairdresser hairdryer that will just dry that will do its job without causing any issues you don't need to spend 300 pounds on a hairdryer um but if you are a hairdresser um or a barber and are thinking about investing in one of these hairdryers i very much think it is very they're very good hair dryers they're very solid and they do things to the hair that I can't even explain um like I've never had I spent the first month of doing people's hair with it and kept stroking their hair because it was just so soft just like so soft um I've never seen I've never known a hair dryer to do it um a lot of the time because I've got chemical treatment hair I tend to find that it makes my hair quite frizzy on the ends um just generally in a hair dryer but this thing I just don't even know I can't fathom it don't know why how it does it but it's amazing um so um a lot another question that i get asked a lot is where does the air actually come from and lots of people think it's from the hole in the back that hole actually does nothing like it's just a hole like there's nothing there's nothing to do in there there's just plastic in there so her air actually comes out of here which is a filter where you can twist it off and clean it um, you have to make sure that your filter is clean though, um, 
because you could blow up your hair dryer. Um, but yeah, that's the main question. So sorry to disappoint anybody. The hair doesn't go in that way. It comes in this side, which is disappointing, I guess. Um, so this is what it looks like without a nozzle on it. I tend to use it with a nozzle on it. All hairdressers will use a nozzle because it's easier to direct the hair and easier to make it smoother and easier to style. Um, there are two settings on it here, as you can see. That's one. That's the temperature, and that's how. That's the speed. Um, I tend to. Don't, I don't tend to put it on the highest temperature because it gets very, very hot. Um, unless someone's got really, really tough hair to dry, wouldn't recommend it putting it on the full heat because it's you. You burn your hands basically. And I, I have used a lot of hair dryers, and I have heat on my hands on a regular basis. And this is a very hot hair dryer. Um, so you have a switch here. This is the on switch. And there you go. You can see that's the temperature, and then that's. The, the speed. You can see it's kind of there you go. And um, so yeah, that's the on and off switch, and then that's the calling button. So when you're blow drying and trying to set, you can call it, instant call it, and set it, um, so that it stays in place and keeps the volume that you want. Um, so this is one of the more expensive ones because of the colour. You can get ones that are slightly cheaper, so that I think the pink one is cheaper, um, and then the black and silver ones tend to be quite a bit more expensive just because they're a bit more professional. So, um, I, so all in all, the what I think of this hairdryer, it is a very, very good hairdryer, and I do rec highly recommend it to professionals. Um, but if you are planning on buying one, say for your girlfriend or your wife, or if you're just buying one for yourself. Um, I don't personally think that it is worth the money just to be used once a day. This thing gets used every 20 minutes in my salon and I work nine hours, nine hour days. So that's a lot of times it gets used. Um, and it's definitely made itself, made its money back in the six months I've already had it. Um, so if you are, but if you are planning on buying one of these and only using it for self, for yourself, then you might be wasting your money. Um, but if you are a stylist and you are planning on getting one of these, it is a very good investment. Um, because it will just pay itself back quickly. So, all in all, it is a very, very good hairdryer. I highly recommend it. But if you are just going to use it at home... There are better hair dryers out there. Um, I wouldn't say better, but as good hair dryers out there that are a fraction of the price. You don't need to be paying hundreds of pounds for a hair dryer when you can get one for £70 that does as good a job if you're only using it once a day. Um, hope this is helpful. Hope this hasn't put you off buying one, but. It